Hey, good day everyone. Pase Bono here. We are now in this third game for today, January 31st, 2024, NBA Game Day. This is an Eastern Conference matchup between Chicago Bulls and Charlotte Hornets, which will happen at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Approaching this game, by the way, the Chicago Bulls, they got a record of 22 wins and 26 losses. While for Charlotte Hornets, they have a record of 10 and 35. So both uh, teams are below 500%. But for Chicago Bulls, you know, they, they actually have their hopes going. Because right now, they are within the top 10 in the Eastern Conference as they are at number 9. We all know that we actually provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel, but for those who would want to avail our premium picks or premium packages, you might want to reach us through Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even um, a Messenger account. Just go ahead and take a look at the descriptions of our videos and you would see the details right there. The spread that is given is minus 3.5. That's actually given towards Chicago Bulls. Now, Charlotte Hornets, they would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of uh, momentum, though, both teams are actually coming off losses. But uh, for their last 10 games, uh, Chicago Bulls, they have actually won five. And um, uh, Charlotte Hornets, they have only won twice. So um, I got to give a slight advantage towards Chicago Bulls. In terms of fatigue, it will be Charlotte Hornets who would have the advantage because, Char because Chicago Bulls actually played last night when they went up against Toronto Raptors. Now let's take a look at the health and availability for both teams. All right, starting with Chicago Bulls, I see Lonzo Ball, Tori Craig, Zach Levine, and Patrick Williams all confirmed out for the Bulls. Again, that's a total of four players out. And we have Terry uh, listed as questionable for this matchup. So four players are confirmed out, and then there's one who is uh, listed as questionable for the Bulls. Now let's take a look at uh, Charlotte. Now for Charlotte Hornets, we got Gordon Hayward, Kyle Lowry, and Mark Williams all confirmed unavailable. And we have Miles Bridges and LaMelo Ball listed as game time decision. So again, three players are confirmed out, and then a couple of you know a couple of more listed as a uh, um, game time decision. I would have to say that uh, Chicago Bulls would still have the advantage on this because man, Charlotte Hornets. Their stars are out, you know, Lamelo Ball, Miles Bridges. There's a possibility that uh, either of them or perhaps both of them will be out. Gordon Hayward is still out. Kyle Lowry, well, I really don't know what the status is for Kyle Lowry. And Mark Williams, one of you know, one of their uh, um, one of their uh, hustlers, is still out. So, yeah, it's gonna be tough for Charlotte Hornets. I'm I'm gonna give an advantage towards Chicago Bulls in here. Right now, this one's a bit tricky, but if you take a look at it, um, considering all those factors in, you know, Chicago Bulls, um, they do have uh, they do have some momentum still. They even though they, they came off that loss against Toronto, uh, yes or last night, um, they, they you know they must be having some some more motivation uh, as compared to Charlotte Hornets. Just like what I said earlier, the, the Chicago Bulls they still have a they still have a chance to make it right there. They are at number nine in the Eastern Conference, and um, not only that. For the last couple of games that uh, these two teams had, when whenever uh, Bulls and Charlotte Hornets uh, played each other this season, uh, both instances it was actually Chicago uh, that won the game. the 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 previous one was an OT win, one hundred nineteen, one hundred twelve. Now, prior to that, it was a double-digit win, 104 91 So Chicago Bulls got Charlotte's uh, Charlotte's uh, number this season. I think it's not going to change. I mean, yes, I understand the Charlotte Hornets. They are posing some, you know, some advantages over Chicago. They are at home. They are coming off. They are coming off rest. Chicago is having a game. But just like what I said, uh, Ch 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 Chicago Bulls they have figured out Charlotte Hornets, and Charlotte Hornets might be missing. Uh, their you know their stars who are basically their scorers. I'm talking about Ball. I'm talking about Bridges and the, and, uh, and I'm ta and again, um, let's not forget that they don't have you know they don't have um, uh, their uh, their scoring anymore, right? Terror. 
So it's really tough. I mean, um, I'm still having some, you know, I'm still having some uh, contemplation because again, uh, I always give a huge, a huge consideration in terms of uh, in terms of fatigue. And I understand Chicago had a game last night, but I just can't uh, side with uh, Charlotte Hornets right now, considering the fact that Chicago has already beaten them twice, and uh, Chicago again has more motivation to win this one because they still they still can make it towards the playoffs. So my pick on this one would be Chicago Bulls minus 3.5. I'm expecting a huge game from um, um, from DeMar DeRozan on this one. Again, that's Chicago minus 3.5. Peace out. Pase love. God bless.